Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to your semi-annual roundup of Hex VR news. The series where I, Trentic, grab all the new bits and pieces of Hex VR's development and rounding it all up into one video that I'll eventually clickbait as the next Echo VR. And now that it's officially been a month since Hex released a devlog on their YouTube channel, let's get into everything new and added. So the first bit of news that we're going to be cover is Hex winning a seeding funding challenge. And as the name suggests, this is basically a challenge that Hex was able to complete that allowed for them to gain 500 dollars in funding, which in itself isn't a super large sum. However, Cade says that it's more than enough to drive the project forward for a few more months without taking money direct out of anyone's pocket. And in the announcement, they said that they would be using the money to help fund development costs such as file sharing, multiplayer features, and the distribution of the game. So overall, a great bit of news to start off the video. Now the next thing we're going to be talking about is HexVR working on their Steam page. So we've actually been given a screenshot by Cade that's basically showing us the unreleased HexVR Steam page which is amazing because it shows that HexVR is really doubling down and ready to support PC VR alongside the Quest 2. And as for how they were able to do it, they were actually able to do it because of the seed funding challenge money, which Kate attributes as a big part of them being able to put a deposit down on their Steam page. And speaking of this release, let's move on to our next bit of news, which is the roadmap. So let's read this out all one by one. And Hex's alpha, which is where we're currently at, we get basic gameplay, basic arena, and basic multiplayer functions. However, in the second version of the alpha, we're going to get updated throwing mechanics and several test arenas, along with that username systems. But where this really gets interesting is the first beta, where they're going to actually have a functional game mode with full matches and upgraded servers, and along with that, open XR support and proper matchmaking for their arena, and hopefully a social lobby to couple that with an app lab release. And a comment on the beta, I gotta say, that's a very ambitious goal, and honestly, I'm super excited to see how HexVR will be able to do this. But moving on to the beta 2, we'll have a Hex underground map with a functional weapon system for testing, basic underground gameplay, and Hex underground matchmaking. Then for the pre-release build, we're going to be getting polished underground gameplay with polished throwing, polishing maps and social features, and a Steam release. Before eventually moving on to the actual release, where we'll have our full arena game mode with full matchmaking, social features, and underground being in beta testing. So that's all we get from the Hex VR roadmap, at least for right now. Once all of these tasks have been completed, we probably will get a new one. And honestly, I am very excited to see this happen, because if HexVR really plays their card right, then another Axiom, the Gorilla Tag developers who are also creating a successor to Echo Arena, are really going to have a challenge. But stepping away from development for a bit, we have an announcement from Hex Euphoria, showing us some photos of some custom HexVR merch, which could honestly be pretty cool if they decide to open up a merch store. I think the design actually looks pretty cool on a t-shirt. Hopefully we'll be able to see more of that soon. And keeping up with these community updates, we also have an announcement of a VR Chat Hex VR group, which is a Hex VR related community where they will hop into VR Chat to host game nights, meetups, and general community hangouts. But now, stepping back into development, we have Hex's announcement of being able to support the MetaQuest 3. So, with the release of the teaser trailer for the MetaQuest 3, everyone is super hyped for it to be able to release, and everyone's even more hyped for the Quest 2's price cut. And after it got released, we got a confirmation announcement from Cade that basically said they were going to support the Quest. 3, which I feel like at this point is kind of a given. And finally, moving on from that, we have the last major update that came to us on June 2nd. This announcement mainly talked about Golden Gear Studios, the main development team for HexVR that has now been formed. And along with that, Cade also announced the formation of Golden Gear Esports, which is their very own tournament league designed from the ground up for VR Esports. And as of right now, they are hosting weekly Onward, Hex, Breachers, and Echo VR events. And to finalize this announcement, they also announced a new website called GoldenGearStudios.com, which if you want more information about their development team and Golden Gear Esports, I suggest you check out with the link in the description. Because with that said, that's going to wrap it up for this video, so if you didn't join them, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you made it this far, comment below, HexVR is goaded, and I will heart your comment. So with that said, my name is Trentic, and I will be signing out. Peace.